Hey everybody, Sean Holsinger here again from HolsingersFlyShop.com bringing you another video today and uh, this has been a stocky killer for me and yeah we named it that just for the fun of it so um, corn and mapu so is what we call it and it's a corn fly is what it actually imitates and it's just a simple mop fly cut in half and we've been catching a ton of fish on it you know it's stocky season here now at the shop uh, this first day of trout season just came in last week and we're just tearing them up on you know simple stuff because there's a lot of rainbows and stuff in here in Pennsylvania here that they do with the stocking so this fly works great and uh, and it's quick and easy to tie so have a couple in your box here it is the picture of it in the material list Okay, here it is in the vise, really simple. So let's give it a look at it here, and uh, let's get ready to tie it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our hook in the vise for a hook. I'm using uh, one of our hook hooks at the shop, the Holsinger's Fly Shop jig hook. Um, I like this model of hook because of the big hook gap in it, and uh, it seems to hold fish real well. Catches a lot on the upper lip, which is really good. Um, the bead I'm using is a Hannock bead. This is a 3.5 or a 4.0. That is what I usually fish it in. I like to get this thing down quickly. You know, it's a mop, so it doesn't have the best fall rate. So I like to go a little bigger on the bead. I'm using a matte black one. That's why I'm using the Hannock bead. And the thread, I'm just using some 140 denier fluorescent orange. So, all we're going to do... Get our bag of mops out here. This is just a yellow mop. Uh, like a, not even a fluorescent yellow, but a yellow mop. You can see it there. Looks just like the color of a piece of corn. What we're going to do is we're going to cut it halfway. That's a full size mop there. I'm going to cut it like halfway. Pull the fibers off of it. Get it down to the size of a piece of corn, which is about... Oh, you know, the size size of a kernel of corn. About the size of your pinky now. A little bit smaller, that length. Anyhow, all we're going to do is take those strands that we had pulled, pulled the fibers out of. I'm going to sit it right on top of that bead. I'm going to wrap it down right behind that bead. And try to, I like to try to kind of catch those fibers in that hole. Wrap them around a little bit there. That ain't going anywhere. I got that on there good and tight now. Then all I do, give it a little bit of yellow SLF prism. Any kind of yellow double work. I just like to clean it up a little bit. Get fingers a little wet here so it dubs a little better. And then I just make a yellow collar out of this. And tie it off. And that's all that's to the corn and mop poo. Uh, my my son Colton and I started fishing this last year on the stockies and we just tore up the fish with it and I wanted to come up with a funny name because it was funny that that's all that it took to catch the fish so so we came up with a funny name and it was corn and my poo there it is guys give it a try you're gonna catch a ton of stockies on it okay like I said that was a really easy fly to tie and I tied it in like two minutes and half of that time was putting the fly in the vise. So, anyhow, it's one of the flies that I catch a lot of fish on this time early in the season when the fish are fresh and stocked. This is a stock trout fly. I ain't gonna lie to you. It uh, catches a bunch of stockies. So, give it a try. It imitates nothing but a piece of corn. And um, I haven't tried it yet around carp. That's one thing I would like to try. I know in our area, a lot of guys like to use corn for carp. So. Maybe I'll be able to get full of carp with it. I might have to try that. Anyhow, the material you need to tie, like always, we tie it in, find it in the shop at wholesingersflyshop.com. And uh, if you have any questions, want to see any videos or anything like that, get a hold of me, please. Send me an email at wholesingersflyshop at gmail.com. And uh, head on over to the Bugs and Beard page, too, and check out our podcast. We've got new ones coming out now. 
and uh, you know we took a little break we're coming back at it and we got a lot a lot of cool ones lined up here in the near future so thanks for watching everybody until next week when I bring you another video I'm Sean Holsinger and make sure you keep your lines tight and get in the water it's fishing season guys